In this video, I just want to discuss study permits. The most important part of a study permit application is to demonstrate why you choose this program to begin with. A lot of clients want to come to Canada and potentially seek residency. And so one of the ways that they think the fastest way to get into Canada is to apply for a study permit. Now this may be the case that getting a study permit is a fast way of entering Canada because processing times are only about, you know, eight weeks, um, roughly eight weeks. And should it get approved, then yes, it does eventually potentially lead to permit residency because once you finish your studies, you will get a post-grad work permit. Once you work in Canada for one year, you will be eligible for a permit residency. So study permits, in, in, in essence, is extremely, extremely important. And one of the things that you really want to ensure that you have down nicely and have explained nicely to the officer is explaining why you chose this program to begin with. So choosing your program is very, very critical to getting a study permit application approved. You have to explain why you've chosen this program and how this will benefit you once you are finished with the program and take it back home. So let's say your program is two years in accounting, as an example. We, we can add documentation to show that potentially you have a, um, a job offer that could be um, yours once you finish this accounting. So if we can add that, that will increase your chances a lot. Or if we can show that in your region, uh, there's a high need for accountants. Um, or if we can get a letter from a potential employer to say if you had this degree from Canada, they would most likely offer you a position. Something of this, of this magnitude. So you really want to be picky about which program you choose and then relate it back to how this will benefit you once you exit Canada. Um, a lot of clients decide to choose English. Now I'll, 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 I'll tell you why that's not necessarily a good idea. English is a language that can be spoken in many countries, right? It's Canada, US, most European countries. In fact, even in India and Pakistan, English is one of the classes that they teach, uh, one of the courses that they teach. So if you're gonna to choose English, you're gonna be stuck with the officer thinking, why did you choose then to choose this particular school in Canada? Why not continue developing your English skills in your home country? Um, so unless the program is connected with an English course, choosing English as your main reason to study in Canada will probably be a weak application. Uh, what I mean by that is some programs, let's say using accounting as an example again, uh, require you to pass a six months or eight months or a one year English uh, course. And then once you pass that, then you enter the university or college into that program, let's say the accounting program. So we essentially are saying you're doing the English classes so that you can enter the accounting course to continue in Canada. But your focus is obviously getting into that accounting program. So I hope that makes sense. You really have to explain to the officer why this particular program. And it's going to be a tough argument if you've chosen English as your main reason to enter Canada. Now, besides the study plan, um, you also want other documentation such as your travel history, proving that you've traveled outside of Canada, your financial capability, which you can include from mom and dad um, to support that they're going to be supporting your um, tuition and your stay and accommodation here in Canada, and as well as your ties to your home country. Now, most students don't have a lot of ties. They don't have properties. They don't have bank accounts. Mom and dad usually are the ones that supports them. So you want to include mom and dad's financial documents. You potentially want to include statistics to show that once you finish the school, you will have a uh, most likely a job opportunity available for yourself and so forth. So just because you don't have a lot of ties doesn't mean that you cannot inform the officer of what your future plans are when you go back home. I hope this video has been helpful for those who, for those of you who want to enter Canada for a study permit. If you would like to get some questions answered, I'm here and available for you. Please do give us a call. Remember, at our Crime Associates, there's always a way. We'll be waiting for your call. Thank you, and until next time.